In this video, I'm gonna run you through what goes into an internal and external penetration test and how you can use a product completely free of charge to run one for yourself, even if you're not a cyber or a technical expert. My name is Terry Lewis and for 20 years, I've helped organizations as big as global investment banks through to global startups manage their cybersecurity posture. So before I start this demonstration, just to let you know, everything you see here is completely free of charge on the RoboShadow platform. All I've done is pretty much log in, sign up for an account that takes 30 seconds. And the, one of the first buttons that you're greeted with once you log in on the dashboard is the ability for you to enter an external IP address or a website domain name. And that will be for your external scanning. So these could be, as I say, websites, um, um, cloud locations, any um, offices or home offices or things like that as well. That's the external part of the penetration test. Then it moves into your device compliance, your device vulnerabilities. Uh, and then the last part, as you can see me using an internal LAN scanner, local area network scanner, to be able to see any of the vulnerable devices internally within your internal network, which I will cover very briefly at the end. So I'm gonna start this off. What I enter in here is scanme.nmap.org. That's because we know that's a known vulnerable demo IP address, which is known to be vulnerable. And I kick that off quick scan. I select the web scan as well. That will give you what's known as the OWASP scanning for web vulnerabilities. So that's a very common sort of open source scanning capabilities. So that will run. We're then going to move over and download the agent. I pre-downloaded it, but you will see that you have to just copy your organization ID. Once you've got that downloaded, you just literally next, 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 next. You can install that on one machine, five machines, as many as you want. Take a small cross, cross section or just use something like Intune or an RMN to roll it out across the complete network. Once that installs, as I say, it's fairly quick and painless. I think we just check in the video, make sure that we see the data coming in. Once you've installed your first agent, it only really takes 30 seconds to a minute for the data to start coming in. I also show here, you can also sync with Microsoft 365 to get things like um, uh, multi-factor authentication data as well. I don't think we do that on the video here. So here we can see that the data's come into the external scanner. We've got the IP vulnerabilities and the web vulnerabilities as well. So we just, that takes care of the external vulnerabilities. And also we know that we've done the device vulnerabilities. We just check that we're receiving data in there. Good, yep, so we know that we've got some data coming in from the agent that we installed. And then lastly, we move over, I believe in a second, we move over to the LAN scanner. And this is just to confirm any nasties on the internal network. So don't be too perturbed. Everyone's got internal vulnerabilities. They are the last line. What your hacker needs to get into a device to to then scan your internal network to then go and hide itself in a scanner or an old printer or something like that. So um, don't be as worried about um, the internal devices. However, there will be some items in there that you think you might need to get patched or updated or even removed for the network. It is always better to completely segregate the network um, um, you don't really, if you can get away with it, want people moving laterally within a network. So uh, if you can, devices should only be able to see themselves and the router. And as you see here, all I did was click on the, uh, all I did was actually click on the homepage. There's a link to this ultimate report. This is the penetration test that people usually pay five to 20,000 pounds for or something like that. And as you can see, it's picked up all of the vulnerabilities. There's a lot here because it's a demo machine that was very vulnerable just to um, show for demonstration purposes. And it goes all the way down, Windows Defender, anti-malware, all of that good stuff, and then ends on the internal device scan. So pretty much what we're showing on the screen now is a penetration test which you pay usually quite a lot of money for. You can produce this yourself with no technical abilities, completely for free on the RoboShadow platform.